Well, my friends, YouTube, what's going on? I hope everybody enjoyed the last few demos that I have uploaded. Um, this weekend, this whole week has actually been slow. No uploads, no short videos on YouTube, no videos to Facebook. I've just been kind of on the recovery. I felt like uh, with all of the stress around, uh, maybe not stress, but anxiety is the type of stress around getting the amplifier situated, uh, a couple situations that came up to regarding that. Uh, financially, I still am behind on a couple of things, still working out my work routine, trying not to be ill, figuring out my diet, trying to listen to music. And then also this past week, a video game came out, a video game DLC came out for Destiny 2, which I am a very big, big fan of. I have been playing the game of Destiny by Bungie Studios. And if you don't know, Bungie made Halo series. So the Halo originating company, Bungie made Destiny 1 in 2014, uh, in which the demo came out. I started playing it back then. It's been 10 years, essentially, till this new DLC, and they just closed up the story, and then they also released the soundtrack, so I did a couple of days and was playing the game, and then I watched a couple follow-ups about the music and the soundtrack. Absolutely phenomenal. I would play some of it, but all of the recent videos late, uh, that I've loaded to YouTube have been absolutely non-copyright or completely copyright striked uh not strike but um you know what i mean copyright songs so no monetization not that i'm making any money on youtube anyways just don't want to continually upload videos that are non-monetized just for the sake of my channel and the 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 uptick um so i won't play any of the music however i believe that a lot of it will be available on spotify so what I want to do real quick is just give it a search. I'm going to look for Destiny 2. And the final shape should be available there. That's, that's the final DLC for Destiny 2. It's called the final shape. So the original soundtrack is available on spotify to listen to and i'm sure that it would be a f it would be uploaded on other services as well uh, we can search for those i do have the app for that as well so let's just have a look i'm using the Weem pro plus streamer which is attached to the rotel so i can go into here it's the settings we go to device we go to browse go to browse my connected uh, Kobas is there so I will look for Destiny 2 and I see Destiny the original soundtrack Destiny 2 Forsaken so let me see if I can no albums there we go, there's the final shape. So it is also available on Koba's success. So you can watch, you can listen to it on either of the either of the services. I am going to keep playing my copyright free CD for the time being <laughs> because I want to keep this video a little bit friendly. Um, so yeah, I did take a little bit of time away from posting a lot of photos or videos or follow-up or doing live streams or anything like that from audio. I felt like I needed a chance to just enjoy my system. And at this moment, I know that I have had ambitions to upgrade this system. These towers are not my intended end point. However, for the near future, Unless something very, very cool happens and allows me to make uh, either borrowing, uh, reviewing, and or purchase at a really good price, then these uh, this will be my entire system for now. Um, I can't see any kind of financial gains coming in at the moment, 
my day job uh, and my diet and time off, all that stuff, I have to play catch up for the next little while. So unfortunately, like a lot of my friends and critics have said, um, not having anything like proper to review except for the Orchard Audio uh, yeah, Orchard Audio's uh, premium monoblock. Star Crimson Premium. <sighs> wow, I'm yawning. That's so rude. How could I do that in a YouTube video and then just actually not edit it? <laughs> so I have had these in room for a while. These are the premium Star Crimson Premium Monos. They are the 150 watt models. They're stable to 2 ohms. They have some incredible technology to keep the noise down they're absolutely silent on their own uh, I really enjoy them so far they've given me more bass response I don't know how or why but they do they look pretty cool I like the fact that I have monos finally this is a dream system that I've had in my mind for a while so I'm really to ha really happy to have that in my system I'll do an appropriate focused review of these amps and talk about uh, a little bit once I've heard more of the system this week I didn't listen to music hardly at all this is my opportunity to come in room and actually listen to music tonight uh, which I will be doing listen to some of the Destiny soundtrack uh, as well as some of the stuff in my playlists um, yeah so I'm going to keep the video short most of my other videos have been over 15 minutes long i keep this one around 8 if that um, and I'm going to leave it with that. I'll change the song up there a little bit. I don't like that noisy song. Um, yeah, just sometimes, uh, I feel like just recovering, if that makes sense. Instead of allowing my ambitions to keep pushing. I talked about this in a previous video about chasing things like these are great speakers. I don't really see much of a need or reason to upgrade considering my room size, considering my system, uh, my system's capability right now. I have the Rotel and the CD player and the streamer. So that's pretty much all my content needs. Speakers, amps, mono blocks, great technology, super quiet. What else do I need? Really, I actually don't really need anything else. So here's the problem with YouTube and the idea of being like a personality on YouTube. I've been criticized and that I'm not doing a lot of reviews for stuff because one, I can't afford a lot of new stuff all the time. So I don't have a lot in that regard to contribute. Um, I have new amps. I can do this one. But once that's done, then what's next? It's always about this creating content in order to keep the views going in order to create an audience to you know what I mean so like I'm in this crossroads right now where I don't want to start doing just anything just for the views and I also don't want to quit and give up because I'm at a pretty good comfortable spot right now audio shows are sort of scattered out and I'm not you know I'm not in the financial position to get out to all the shows that are available like the show was happening in California this weekend and Pacific Northwest show is coming up and then we have Capital Audio Fest which is happening sometime in November Toronto Audio Fest is in October which I will be doing uh, and then in the new year there's obviously CEDIA, CES uh, another The Show Vegas is happening then, you know, it's like the shows are a good chance to get content, but I'm going to have to learn how to be creative here in the city and capture stuff locally. So in a couple of weeks, there's going to be uh, Acora Acoustics uh, speakers and Griffin Audio Amplifiers and Electronics showcase and demo at Audio Excellence on their channel. They talked about all, all of these products I got an email saying there's going to be a, a display or an event so that would be pretty cool that'll give me a chance to check some stuff out um, all of the demos of the x6 speakers were captured at uh, EQ audio in Barrie Ontario they might have a opening or like launch for the Borison audio group Denmark AVIC all their electronics they might do an event 
Uh, so I'll try to go up to capture that. But I'm finding it a little difficult to like create stuff and still be authentic. I'm working on it. Um, maybe you can suggest some things. So the words for the day are just ideas. Um, what would you like to see more of? Is there anything in the system or anything that I've done or talked about that needs more explanation? Do like, can I explain more? Can I cover more? What would you like to know about the system? Is there anything that I haven't covered? The r and I never really did a full review of the system either. Now that I got new amps, I know more about their character, what they're capable of. So maybe I can do a review for these, more focused. Um, I have a camera. I've got microphones. It's like I have the gear. It's just my mind and ADHD won't allow me to put it all together. It's like wrangling a bull, literally. Um I'll figure it out eventually, but I just want to put this out there and say, hey, you know, I got my amps. It was a long journey. The speakers are still in the system because nobody's buying these. I can't sell them right now. Um, a couple of other things that I wanted to do was change the preamp. The preamp has got a low, relatively low, but audible noise floor. So this has got some noise issues. So this one piece I'm also trying to change. Now, I don't know how soon I'll be able to do that but that's in the works this would be in the works these are here for the time being I don't see me upgrading from these at any point anytime soon uh, it obviously there was a lot of effort into just to make that happen um, my room is coming along the walls were done the ceiling still this is a lot better than it was this is holding up my need to replace it the middle section, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do. And then I've got a creative idea where I want to mount these on stands, but I've got a clever idea how to do that. So we'll see what happens. Um, I got a new kind of statue coming that I might put in the front for the speakers, for the lights. I mean, this looks okay, but I have an idea to change it, of course. It's all money based if I can't afford it from the work or whatever I need to crank out some hours and then make it happen so anyways here we are 12 and a half minutes thank you for watching this video just wanted to check in and say hi see how everybody's doing also ask for some advice what would you like to see in the channel what can I explore that's more valuable to the audience um, the demo videos like I said the last few videos I have Two videos of multiple clips and then two songs on their own, Sleep Token and uh, Rich, Richie Everett, uh, amazing songs. I have two more I'm going to work on this week. So I have a XG song, which is a very popular Korean Japanese group. Um, they have a really popular song that's out. I'm going to do that one. And also Eminem's new song, Houdini. I captured that one at the store. So I'll maybe work on those tonight. Maybe this week I'll have those out. So look forward to two more demos. Uh, if you can like and comment on this video, I'd really appreciate it. That will help out the algor algorithm and my channel. Beware. Everything that's not monetized is obviously up for grabs. So anyways, r and 1723THX Towers. If you haven't seen the video before, Orchard Audio, Star Crimson, Premium, Monoblocks, amazing, uh, Rotel RC 1590 Mark II preamp, and then the Rotel CD11 Tribute model CD player, and then the Pro Weem Pro Plus streamer is what I'm using, so I got a little internet switch over there, and yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you have a great week. Thanks for sticking with me. And I look forward to hearing from you. All right. Bye, guys. Or right. bye, folks. Or right. bye, people. Bye, humans. And if there's any dogs online watching this video, hey, pups. <laughs> All right. Bye.